follow-up to our last game against Kentucky. You know, as we watched the film, as I told the team yesterday, for the first 24-54 of the game, I thought we did some really good things. I thought we played with the intensity, the effort uh, that you need to you know, win, no matter who you're playing. I thought the defensive execution at that time was very good. You know, we had a fourth down stop, we got them off the field, we'd help them to a field goal in the red zone. On defense, on offense, although our execution hadn't been good at that time, uh, what we'd hoped for, we still were slugging it out, for lack of a better word, with them. And we're in a position with 6.06 left in the second quarter to go into halftime with a chance to come out and get our, get our thoughts together, regroup, and come back out with the ball. From that point forward, we did not play with the effort, the execution, the fundamentals that we need to to beat any opponent. So I was very disappointed in that. I was very disappointed in our second half. Um, I was very disappointed in our missed tackles on defense and our, our, our mental errors, unforced errors on offense, which culminated with them scoring, you know, out, at that point in time, outscoring us 41-7. to seven. So I was very disappointed with that performance by our team, and um, we aim to do better. What triggered it? I'm not quite sure what triggered that. that that's, uh, I, I try to put my thumb on it here Sunday, Monday, before I started moving headlong into Indiana. I, I really can't, don't know what triggered it. I can't, um, uh, maybe our lack of depth caught up to us at that point, particularly in the second half, and they had more guys to shuffle in, and we had more guys to shuffle in. But for whatever reason, we didn't play um, near as well in that stage of the game than I had expected us to play. Is there any magic formula for sustaining it? Because you seem to have spurts, but 60 minutes. I mean, yeah, there's um, no magic formula, yes. There is no magic formula except keeping it going back to work and trying to develop that through, you know, you gain confidence by knowing what to do. And in my opinion, you gain confidence by doing it well in practice. And as, as we go back to last Thursday's practice, we had some mental errors that then reared their ugly heads in the game also. So we have to get that out of our system. I don't, uh, you know, we've cut our, our, we've cut our offense and defensive schemes down. Um, even going into last week, we did to a point where we should not have um, as, as many mental errors as we've had. So I've challenged the team this week on, in, to do, to do a better job of studying their opponent, studying the game, and nailing down the things they have to nail down. Because just some things in there that you, um, we have a, some routes that are named, and the names tell everybody what to do. And we have a, we, we, we call a route and it's named, everybody gets told what to do, and we still have a guy, you know, make a mistake. Now that, 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 that shouldn't happen. So, so, does that mean you have too many routes in? Well, you look at that first. And I would say the answer to that is no. So what does that mean? That means that that young man needs to focus better. That young man needs to study his, it's like he's studying chemistry. He needs to study that better. So those are the types of things as we grow here with our team, we got we to gotta do. And if at some point as a coaching staff we feel like we have too much in, um, then we cut back. But I feel like we've, we, we, we've scaled back from the first game to the second to the third in order to be able to try to play fast. And for the first 24, 54, we did play fast. We certainly had a lot of opportunities on offense to make some plays. We missed out on those. We just go back to the drawing board and try to put ourselves in the same opportunities again the next week, and hopefully we make them. How much, uh, I know the change between the, the pro offense and the spread and all that, but how much of your terminology is different? I'd from? say maybe all of it. Really? I don't really know. I haven't looked in last year's playbook, but such a different system, and I think a majority of it is. Yeah, but I, I would 90, think a Y receiver or a Z receiver or an yeah. X receiver in any system is going to be X, Y, or Z. Correct? Yeah, so that, that's not different. But what we might, what they might have called a play last year, we might run the exact same pass route, but we might just call it something totally different. Is it worthwhile to, to reach back for, I mean, just for what you're talking about? No, I mean... Um, Answer that would be no. I mean, we've been we, we've dived into this since you know March, mm -hmm. so I can't um, think that there's any reason to dive into it. We just we need to move on, move ahead, and mm -hmm. grow and grow.
grasp. But I mean, just in terms of comfort level, I mean, you're still doing the same right. pro stuff, right. pro style stuff. But just in terms of something that gives them, because it seems like every week you're saying, you know, we're we're basically you're saying we're thinking too much. Mm -hmm. We're a lot of times we are. And yeah, that would be something that might make it easier for them. Yeah, I, I believe it's just got to, you got to be um, not stubborn, I'm not trying to be stubborn, but committed to what you're doing. Committed to the plan you have and we need to, we need to keep moving our team in that direction with this system and that plan. But how does, how Because does I think you fail, I think you fail if you decide, if you, if you, if you change, if you go, if you, if I'm you I'm not saying flush, change you know. the system, I'm just talking, hey, if, if if play X was called wham bam, yeah, and it's now called sis boom ba, yeah. you know, if they're more interested in, or if wham bam gets them on the page, you know, as opposed to the other, that's all I'm saying. Right. Even though it, you're running it out of a pro set, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And I, I, I think any with anything that you do, you just have to be able to dive into what you're doing and do it better. There's things you can relate to, maybe, but I don't. I don't see, as I studied films from last year and studied films this year, I don't see a lot of connection. I really don't. Mm -hmm. You think Patrick, Patrick especially, has had trouble picking everything up? Or uh, it seems you know, like he's you know, he never. I never actually, under center, never I felt under that he. And when I sat here last week, I felt that he managed the whole operation really well in the second game of the year. Made huge strides from the first to the second, but Patrick. Like everyone else uh, in that game, and particularly in that second half, didn't manage it well, and he was not the only one. And a lot of those, some of the things that stick out that you think is a quarterback issue, sometimes aren't a quarterback issue. It's a receiver depth issue, or you know, we got sacked one time on a three-step drop that was we'll get rid of the ball. Well, he was getting rid of the ball, but the young man ran the wrong route. He wasn't where he was supposed to be when we we're throwing the pass. You know, so those things come back to look at the quarterback, um, but but they really not on him. And um, so, did he did he play well last week? Did he did he make the same improvement from game two to three as he did from one to two? He did not. Um, so he needs to go back and reinvest himself into getting better this week, as our whole team is, as our staff has to. What percentage of time is he in the shotgun? Uh, I, I, haven't, I don't have a percentage handy, but he, third down more than any time. Right. Two minute third down, because we're trying to, we, we are under center first and second down 